Do you love Minecraft iceboat racing? Do you also want to make a track, but you have no idea where to start? Start here. That's probably why you clicked on the video anyways. To create a track, at least with this method, you're going to need world edit, a super flat world, and essentials is pretty helpful. If you have any questions at any point along in the process, just leave them in the comments. I'll try and respond to you as quick as I can. To begin, you're going to want to select at least four different random tools from the tools bar in your creative menu. These can be literally anything, as long as it's not a wooden axe. You're also going to need a wooden axe. Here is where you're going to select your track width. We're going to make a brush tool with any one of these tools, except the wooden axe. Now you're going to want to do slash slash brush, CYL. Now you can select either blue ice or packed ice. The only difference is blue ice is slightly faster. We're going to use packed ice. Yes, so we now put in packed ice. And now we need the width. Here are some examples of tracks with different widths. Here we have four. This is pretty small. Six. This is about the average track width. Seven. This is a little bigger. And nine. This is probably going to only be used for very, very large tracks, meant to accommodate a lot of players. The average track width is about six or seven. Just for now, we're going to do six. All important commands will be listed in the description if you don't have time to copy them down. Here's the fun part. Now you get to design your track. If you already have a pre-existing design or one from real life that you would like to copy, here's where you do it. There are a couple tricks to doing it though. One, don't go too fast. Make it smooth. The user brush, right click. This will create a patch of ice. You can hold down this button and move your mouse around to create a track. But don't go too fast. Going too fast may result in a choppy track like this. You don't want that. Instead, use long, sweeping movements to create a smooth, drivable track. Now remember, eventually the tail of the track is going to have to link up with the start, so don't trap yourself. Here we have a very simple track layout. Now you get to test drive it. You should always test drive your tracks before decorating them, to make sure your drive is a smooth one. That felt alright, but there were a couple parts that felt too slow. When using packed ice, you have the option of adding patches of blue ice to help speed up the track. Let's add a couple of patches of blue ice to these long straights. To do this, select another one of your tools and use the same command, slash slash brush, sill, but this time use blue ice, and a number that would usually be larger than the regular track width, let's say 8. But if I try to use this on the track, it'll create a mess. To fix this, do slash slash gmask packed ice. This will make it so that you only affect packed ice blocks. Meaning that, basically, you can't go outside the lines. Now here, you may want to test this a lot of times. If you have too much blue ice, it may lead to loss of control on the other end. It just requires a lot of tweaking to find your ideal track experience. For a beginner's track, try not to use too much blue ice. Now your track should be complete and tuned just to you. Time to decorate. Tracks have all sorts of different themes, and it's up to you to pick the one that you want. It's great to take inspiration from other tracks. You can find these on the Appleseed Boat Gang Minecraft server, which has a whitelist, or the Frost Hex Minecraft server, which is not whitelisted and has lots of tracks to explore. In the end, it's all up to you. For a beginner's track, I'd recommend very simple decoration, nothing that would interfere with the player experience. When taking inspiration from a real-life road, like Tsubake Line, an actual road in Japan, Google Earth is a very helpful tool. If your track has more of an F1 or Formula Drift feel, you may want to have a more industrial look. An updated tutorial on how to make a rally stage will be out soon. Here are some helpful tools to help you decorate your track, but before using them, don't forget to slash slash gmask to disable the mask that you enable to put blue ice on the track. Tool number one, the flatten brush. To use this, it's just like the cylinder brush, slash slash brush, flatten, and now your flatten radius. You'll see what this does. For now, let's do 20. Let's create a little tower right here. Now let's use the brush. The brush shouldn't do that, but if it does, try switching to another brush size. You can line your track with this and then put trees on top of it to create a natural feel. Next, let's make this look presentable. Use another tool and use the forest brush. As for the shape here, it doesn't really matter. Let's use birch trees. 
If it doesn't place many trees at one brush touch for you, do the command again. This still looks a little weird. Let's break up the surface here. You may want to get another tool for this. To break up the surface, let's use slashes brush surface. And here it might get a little tricky. I'm going to use 50% moss block, 30% grass block, and 20% podzel, and give it a radius of 10. Next, let's use the G mask on grass blocks. Now, if we right click, it should mix up the ground right beside the track. And feel free to mix up the percentages on whatever blocks you want to use. It still looks a little weird, doesn't it? Let's put some rocks in here, using slashes brush, rock. Here, you can also play around with percentages. I'm going to use 80%, stone, 10%, iron ore, and 10% andesite. And give it a size of 3. Now, after disabling the G mask again, Here's what a size 3 rock looks like. The rock brush essentially creates a random blob. That looks pretty rocky. You can put these wherever you want. Just try not to have them jut into the track too far, or people will hate you. Also, for a clean racing experience, try not to put any right beside the track on a corner like this. This will enable players to bounce off of the rock, letting them go through the corner much faster. If you'd like that, cool. I don't. So, I'm not doing it. To unbind a brush tool from an item, just run slash slash tool unbind. When you right click, it will no longer do what you set it to do. And always remember to disable the G mask once you're done with it. What if you want a more industrial look? We're going to use the cylinder brush again with something like concrete at a much larger size. Now, make sure to set your G mask for grass or whatever the blocks are that surround the track, and cover the sides as you wish. This creates a very nice highlighting of the ice. On my track T circuit, I use this to create a layering effect. Another option is lining your tracks. Here I used pressure plates, but you can also just use any colored block or a carpet. Keep in mind though, carpets act like solid blocks, thus can be bounced off of like a solid block. Those are all the basic tools to create an ice boat racing track. If you'd like to know more, or how to integrate it into Mark Husen's racing plugin, consider joining the Appleseed Boat Gang Discord server, and checking out the links in the description. Happy racing!